Well, folks, today was the open death of the real Internet as we know it, or once knew it. Uh, well, they're really just announcing it. They were, they've been slowly killing it. It's been chained up. They're cutting at it and cutting at it. But they're about to uh, start cutting off hands and legs and eventually the head and rebuilding, I guess, what they think is going to be a more superior grid for them to take control of your lives, the Satan grid. I mean, smart grid. And that's uh, the headline over at the InfoWarrior.com right now. And we're going to, piece by piece, go through the entire Obama coming out party, the death of the Internet, all of your medical records being digitized. Okay, This is also going to bring in the new environmental grid. Okay, I can't stress this enough. People think, oh, carbon credit system, a joke, <laughs> geoengineering, a joke. Folks, we've got glow-in-the-dark monkeys. I mean, geoengineering, they're doing all sorts of crazy things right now. I mean, th this is more than the information age. And they want to control everything you do. Let me, let, me, let me explain. You got an SUV right now? You're going to eventually have to pay an enormous tax to drive that if they allow it at all because of its CO2 emissions. Oh, it's bad for the environment. You got a lot of garbage because you got a big family. Oh, your, your taxes are actually going to go up. You know how you get a decrease in taxes now? If you got a lot of kids, you can claim them. It's going to be the reverse of that. They're going to start punishing you for having children. I mean, this is an, an insane control system. And they keep squeezing and squeezing and squeezing. And, you know, I brought it up earlier today. But, again, when I'm watching the local news, and I guess now that I'm in Austin, it's my hometown now, and I see in the national CBS News this woman who's got two little girls. And, you know, I'm not a big fan of the health care system anyway, but you, you get an ear infection, you better go to the doctor. They'll, they'll make it better, obviously. You know, I'm not, I'm not against all medical science. I'm not, you know, I don't, I don't practice voodoo. I, I, I don't know if the rumors aren't true. It's true, Paul. <laughs> anyway, um, she's like, well, we had to give it up, right? Oh, she gets the ear infection. What do we do? Oh, mobile vans. Mobile vans. These are going to be the mobile vaccination vans. These are going to be the mobile ID vans. These are where your uh, medical records are now going to be databased. Remember, Department of Homeland Security going into the national security apparatus. And Obama today announcing a cybersecurity coordinator. And it's hand-picked, by the way. Hand-picked tyranny by our Lord and Savior, Barack Hussein Obama. Barack H. Obama, kind of like Jesus H. Cristo, huh? I wonder if that's, you know, they, I, I, that's pretty funny with the name because on, on one end, if you use the Hussein, oh, you're racist, blah, 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 blah. So the left kind of has an attacking point, but then it's really appealing towards the right. Not, not so much the right, but I guess Christianity or the God complex, you know, with the H in the middle, at least in my mind, subliminal, I don't know. I know that the uh, new civilian squad is out of control city year and, and again this is from americorps so it's more than just a city year this is a this is a large program that's going to be coming across you start losing your jobs it's medical vans oh where are you going to work well city year will probably take you in or another organization like it if you're willing to put on a gestapo jacket and get into some kind of military military formation well, you're building the slave camps that's probably what these people are going to be doing oh we're going to be building centers health centers rec centers like Alex says, the slave camps are going to look appealing compared to what the alternative is. Because, again, they have to bring it down to bring up their new world order. And, again, this is their term for it. These aren't imaginations. These aren't fairy tales. See, it's okay when uh, Time Magazine and everybody else jumps on it after the G20, and it's Barack Obama's new world order, and he talks about a new world in this speech, as we're going to show you. I mean, this is a 20-minute long speech, so we might be dissecting this for a full hour, folks. We're going to be taking your calls in the second and third hour. Who knows? Maybe if I get through it before, then we'll take your calls. But this is just such an important issue. Cyber Bullying Act. Cyber Security Act. Hannah Montana. Disney behind this. I mean, this is a, this is a big military industrial complex corporate elite takeover. That's what this is. The Invisible Empire at work. We'll be back after this. It's the Info Warrior. The good old folks at New Silver Solution. And the website is supernaturalsilver.com. Supernaturalsilver.com. 
Uh, this is something that kills bacteria, viruses, you name it. Well documented. They've got it down to a super small nano-sized particle. Supernaturalsilver.com. Check them out at Infowars.com. Supernaturalsilver.com. You know, Rob Beckstrom really had this job in the bag had he wanted to keep it. But a few months ago, he felt that the threats to our democratic process are significant if all top-level government network security and monitoring are handled by the NSA. And what he meant by that is there's no internal checks and balances whatsoever. The external checks and balances we have right now are nothing but a joke. They're laughable. They're beyond laughable. They're, it's actually quite disgusting. And uh, he resigned. And I don't know who he's... I'm kind of fearful of who this guy is just going to appoint. I don't think this person has to be approved. I, I, I don't know what the process is going to be. This is a brand new agency. I'm sure they're just going to go along with it. It's Lord Obama. Again, I mean, this is pretty ridiculous. I, the, the smart grid... The infrastructure of it has really been set up. It doesn't have the manpower yet. That's what Homeland Security is. That's why they need all this civilian national security force nonsense. That's why they're indoctrinating the children. That's why they're trying to make it hip. Hey, people are drumming on a bucket. Yeah. All right. It's a party. Hey, that's pretty cool. He is change. I mean, my God. So, I mean... Folks, this is the new reality. He's right. He, he's telling you a lot of the truth right now. This, this is why this is a really slick speech. It's like, yeah, we are in a new information age. Yeah, we are in a new digital age. We do have to step up. We have to make it better. And then he's telling you that your cell phones, your Blackberries, all your broadband has now interwoven woven this planet and especially this nation in a way never before. Actually, you pompous jackass of a puppet for these elitists, what it does is it allows us to empower humanity and then it allows your bosses to enslave humanity through your propaganda, through your, your NLP techniques. I mean, th that's what this is. When, when people are, are extremely good at getting an audience to be pulled in, it's, it's because they know how to speak to somebody. To, to a large extent, you know, the Jedi mind trick is real. And with the population getting dumber and dumber and dumber, and remember, if you really go through the Star Wars trilogy, the precursor to most of these stormtroopers is that they are clones. So they're they're at they're at half speed. Uh, you know they're they're you know kind of more docile, and their minds are just. Uh, I mean, go check out Darren Brown. You'd be amazed at what somebody can do if they're looking at you right in the eye. They're touching you in a certain manner. They're you know projecting words at a, at a quick pace, in a rhythmic fashion. I mean, the guy's amazing. I mean, he's done some of the, the craziest stuff I've ever seen. We should bring some of those clips up. The problem is with uh, UK television, the FCC rules are a little bit different, so curses get by. But this guy is a very good orator. And like I said, he's telling you a lot of the truth. We are interwoven in more, more than ever across the world. That's what makes this show possible. But they're going to usurp it. They're going to take the freedom of information away. You're a cyber bully. You're a cyber terrorist. You're part of the alternative media. You're an extremist. You need to go to worse than the FEMA camp. You need to go to prison. You know what? You don't even need to go to prison. How about we just shut you down? We'll come get you later. It's the Info War with Jason Burmans. Back after this, prisonplanet.tv, infowars.com. Sean, Eric, Alex, Josh, and more in a moment, but we're going to play just a bit more of this because, I mean, this is the coming out party for, yes, your cyber privileges are over, forget about piracy, everything you do is openly going to be track, trace, and database, and now mold over by more human beings than ever, and there will be more crimes than ever. This is the, this is the implementing the cashless society control grid, getting you off that form of currency, getting you more sucked in, and again, there are programs out there called the Worldwide Mind. We played uh, the old school biometrics. That's five years old uh, from Alex Jones at SeaWorld, which is quite entertaining. It's good stuff. We need to have more retro stuff from InfoWars and Prison Planet. But this was just, folks, I came in this morning. I was exhausted. I was, I was getting coffee. I look up, and I'm like, oh, my God, is this live? And, oh, it's a new cybersecurity coordinator, and it's a new office. It's a new tyranny. Together again for the very first time. Oh, poor me. My privacy's gone. You're sucking it up. You're the boy. You love it. 
You're their, you're their guy, friend. You're their buddy guy. I mean, you're the guy that they propped up from a state senator to a senator and a keynote speaker at the Democratic National Convention in 2004. You didn't even have to serve a full term as a real senator before they gave you the presidency. Oh, your privacy's been, been violated. Boo-hoo. Oh, you can relate. Oh, Barack Obama relates to me. Give me a break. He's the everyman. That's why I've got to see, you know, some, some, you know, ridiculous idiot calls in today. You are so deceptive with your Obama deception. Probably hadn't even seen the movie. You don't use the Bush deception. Meanwhile, InfoWars is, was the only real legitimate criticism of the Bush administration consistently for over eight years. Even before he got in, Alex Jones was doing groundbreaking work on the subject. People are out of control.